Today I want to show the results of growing in a self-wicking tub compared to just growing in a regular five gallon bucket. Hey everyone, this is Salty Acres. And if you didn't already know, we sell tons of different varieties of fruit bearing plants and vegetables as well, right in our Etsy shop. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. Both of these tomato plants were grown at the exact same time. These tomato plants are the exact same variety, except one is grown in a self-wicking tub and another is grown in a regular five gallon bucket. So this variety of tomato plants is called the Better Boy variety. And these are a very common tomato down here in the south. This tomato plant right here was grown no different than this tomato plant right here, except on how much water they have essentially. This self-wicking tub makes sure this tomato plant has access to water pretty much all the time. Whereas this regular five gallon bucket only allows the tomato plant to be watered when I water it. Quickly glancing just at this tomato bush alone, there's a noticeable difference compared to the self-wicking tub itself. I don't really know why other than it's just had more access to water. Uh, tomato plants love water, everybody knows that, but I've never done a comparison on which grows faster, if there's more substantial growth on it and everything else. Both plants did have bone meal and blood meal added to the mix in order to help them get started. So now let's talk about the self-wicking tub tomato plant. This tomato plant is substantially different than the regular five gallon bucket method. Now, it's got a lot more leaves on it, looks a lot healthier, and it also had bone meal and blood meal added to it at the start of it as well. The only difference again is always having access to water. Overall, I would have to say that this has been a win. I've never grown in a self-wicking tub ever until this past year, and I never did a comparison on what one would look like compared to another. I always just said, well, this method works or it doesn't work. So again, this is a close-up shot of the tomato plant that is grown in a self-wicking tub. And this is a close-up shot of the tomato plant that has grown just regularly in a five gallon bucket. So if you haven't seen so already, I made a short video that's on my YouTube shorts that shows exactly how I made this self-wicking tub. You're only watering it from the top right here in this tube here. Then when you get too much water, the water comes out this hole right here and drains out slowly, letting you know it's had enough water. Now below this hole, is literally nothing but water that is held inside water bottles that is slowly released into the soil and brought back up in order to help the tomato plant get as much water as needed. So to me, this is the closest thing to grow things hydroponically without actually growing things hydroponically. So the greatest thing about this method really is anytime you need to fertilize it, you just fertilize it with a mixture of water. You put whatever fertilizer you use into the water here and you dump it right into this PVC pipe and it fills up underneath the soil and gets slowly released into the plant. And so it's a pretty neat way of actually growing your tomato plants. And if you don't already know, your tomato plants do not like to get water on their leaves. And this is a good way to make sure they don't. And so now that I've filled this thing up, I'm waiting to stop watering this thing when I notice the water has come out the bottom of the hole, which I'll show you next. So right here you have it. You can see the water dripping out the bottom of this bucket. Let me know it's got enough water in there. So there you have it. I highly recommend growing things in a self-wicking tub compared to growing things regularly. And the reason why is because it's easier to maintain. It's easier to also water, and honestly, you can forget watering it every other day. It actually has all that water stored underneath the soil and gets slowly released. And as you can see, I have a healthy tomato plant.